Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. I'm John, and I'm bringing you your devotional from our Living Upside Down series this week. On Sunday, you heard Chris talk about uh, what it means to be pure of heart, that it means to have one singular focus, uh, to not be focused on all the circumstances and the things around us from day to day, but to put our focus on God and how that'll put all of these other things in perspective. Jesus has an interesting word uh, in Matthew 23 with with the Pharisees and religious leaders of the day. He says, woe to you because you clean your cup on the outside, but the inside is still dirty. It's filled with greed and self-indulgence and pride. And what he's saying to them is you're so concerned about the way you look in front of others and you're so proud of your knowledge of scripture and everything and you're using it to make the others around you feel bad and to humble them and to make yourself look better. He sees past that to their heart and says, you're spiritually bankrupt inside because you don't get it. You don't get that the heart is where it all starts. But when we focus on God's goodness and God's grace and mercy in our lives, our hearts become grateful and we live out of, out of a place of gratitude. And it shows up in fruit all around us. It shows up in good deeds. God is much more concerned about the state of our heart than he is about anything else. If you've been a Christian for a long time, maybe this uh, passage says to you, maybe I need to uh, try, focus less on looking like a good Christian and doing everything perfectly. And maybe I need to get back to the basics of focusing on God's grace and mercy in my life and how that Uh, affects my heart, living out of that gratitude to God. If you're a new Christian, uh, maybe being pure of heart and chasing after that uh, uh, means maybe limiting some relationships or some circumstances that you're putting yourself into um, that are taking you off the mark, that are taking your focus off of God. Uh, Because when we focus on God, our heart is going to be filled with gratitude for his grace and mercy. Whatever your step is today, I encourage you to take it and move closer to God, move closer to a pure heart.